Welcome back, Federico Crespi. Uh, millions of products sold, uh, millions of uh, advertising budget currently under uh, management with Victoria SPS. Uh, I like to talk uh, about things and numbers I can prove. So go on victoriasbs.com, you can check out uh, our uh, case studies so you figure out what kind of numbers are we talking about and in this video i wanted to share uh, a topic that is uh, pretty recurrent in my consulting session in my consulting uh, uh, job i do with uh, e-commerce sellers in commerce companies uh, and uh, the question is uh, how to monetize your passion how to uh, sell physical products uh, or digital products sometimes uh, uh, that are somehow related to one of the passions uh, uh, you have. Follow this channel, uh, subscribe to this channel, uh, first of all, because it's really convenient for you. I believe my 10 years of experience can be uh, incredibly beneficial and especially subscribe to the channel before you do some bullshit action on your e-commerce store or you start your e-commerce store based on your passion. Uh, from what I just uh, um, told you, you can understand that uh, I believe it is uh, incredibly difficult to sell your passion, especially with e-commerce. So we are talking about uh, some digital products, maybe in some niches can be easier, but uh, as a general rule of thumb, I believe it's incredibly uh, difficult to monetize your passion. And uh, uh, it's a, normally a topic, uh, I, a question I receive, uh, uh, the fact, is it possible to start selling and promoting your passion uh, uh, through an online business, through an e-commerce? I receive this kind of question mostly from people that never had uh, any kind of entrepreneurial experience. Uh, so for example, also very experienced people in marketing or uh, in other fields that work in a corporate uh, environment and they are sick and tired somehow of working uh, in a corporate environment. They would like to have more freedom, more money and uh, so on. Uh, and they are considering to start uh, their own e-commerce business based on their passion. Uh, first of all, if you uh, are planning to start and you would like to have a consulting session with us, uh, in most cases you cannot apply, I suggest to not apply. So in this video, I'm not selling anything basically uh, because we only work with established brands uh, and uh, uh, in the rare cases, rare occasion where we work with uh, a smaller seller or uh, uh, people that never sold online and they want to start uh, is because we see a really nice potential and there is uh, a considerable amount of budget in terms of, just to give you an idea, a few hundred thousand dollars. Uh, just a, a small uh, recap of what we do. Don't apply if you are uh, starting out. I'm not promoting anything. Uh, but uh, if you are in a position where uh, you would like to start an online business and you're considering to start based on your passion, so it can be I am passionate about fitness. Should I start a fitness store? It's a question I receive also from people that are passionate about uh, sports in general. So I have a passion for tennis. I have a passion for golf. Uh, should I start a golf related accessory store and so on and so forth. Uh, uh, we can analyze a few uh, reasons why it's not ideal and why you, you will understand pretty easily why I believe it's a, a complete mistake. First of all, uh, I believe the idea, the concept of starting uh, uh, promoting your passion and working on what you're passionate about uh, it's something that came up uh, with uh, and after the personal development courses uh, and personal development uh, um, bubble we had in the last few years. It's still a thing, but uh, they promote a uh, kind of mindset that says uh, uh, you can do it, uh, believe in yourself, uh, sell your passion because it's something you're passionate about. People understand it, people feel it and so on and so forth. Uh, it's something I completely disagree. Uh, for a few reasons. The first one is uh, if you are an entrepreneur and if you start uh, with the goal of making money online, especially if you are stuck in a corporate and a nine to five job, uh, you have to consider profit. Like you are there not to sell your passion, you're there to make money, to make money in a stable and sustainable way in the long term uh, and to get rid of the job uh, that is tying you to the office every fucking day of your life. So the, the first thing that came up in my mind when I was in that situation was uh, how can I first of all maximize my profit? How can I increase the return of investment? Because I was fucking broke. So I didn't have a million to invest. Uh, 
in e-commerce. So every uh, percentage of return of investment I could add to my product uh, was something extremely valuable. And I, can re I cannot really understand how you can plan to start from your passion and not from a marketing-driven decision. So we are talking about marketing and the most important thing here, it's like it's a basic uh, approach to when you want to sell something online is to do some sort of market research. And starting from your passion by the simple uh, fact that you have this passion doesn't prove the product is or the niche is a good idea to start with. So uh, let's do a couple of examples. The first uh, problem is uh, uh, if it's a passion you have, uh, most probably is a passion, is a, is a niche that is already existing since many years. Uh, if it's a niche, uh, if it's a sport, it's even worse. Uh, and you understand that there are a huge player already selling products in the space. Uh, and sometimes these can prevent you, uh, your store to succeed. First of all, uh, you don't have the budget, you don't have uh, the money uh, to sustain this kind of uh, project. So for example, if you start uh, uh, selling uh, uh, golf related items that are multi-million dollar brands that are already selling products that are uh, much higher quality than yours uh, that have a much higher marketing budget that can uh, outbid you incredibly easily and so you start uh, in an environment where you cannot offer a high quality product to your customer for the long term is not ideal where you cannot uh, understand uh, how to promote your service without your product without uh, clashing with these giants uh, and so that's the first thing the second option is that your passion is something extremely unknown so nobody knows about it so you like to go fishing uh, uh, close to the north pole with a special equipment probably you are one out of the hundred people in the world that do these kind of things like i'm mentioning a, a stupid example so or it's a mass market and it's incredibly crowded or it's an extremely rare kind of uh, niche kind of passion that no one cares about. So uh, by the fact that you believe in this kind of passion, in this niche, like, it doesn't mean that people are interested. Like the reality is nobody cares about you and about your passion. So. Uh, the, the first recommendation I have is uh, uh, if you want to start an e-commerce business is uh, do a research. Uh, don't tie yourself to uh, what you like and what you don't like. Uh, when I started out, I literally was selling, uh, I can mention a few products. The very first was a toe spreader separator. So a piece of plastic you put between the feet uh, uh, to avoid the two finger clashing. Uh, I was selling, if I remember correctly, something like 1,500 units a month on Amazon. I have a passion for this kind of thing. Absolutely not. Was it profitable? Absolutely yes. So, and was it an incredibly good uh, return of investment because it was generating, a, the cost it was incredibly small, 60 cents, 50 cents uh, uh, per unit. And I was selling for $9.99. So you understand like, oh, this is a sort of product that can uh, grow uh, your uh, revenues and profit exponentially and of course it's not in most of the cases related to something you are passionate about uh, another example i was selling sex toys it can be fun uh, i was selling sex toys on amazon before i discovered it was the very beginning before i discovered that you cannot promote uh, in a super easy way that kind of items on amazon so I will maybe share another video where I uh, tell you about the fun story when uh, I got 700 uh, items of uh, these kind of things uh, shipped uh, to my house because Amazon wasn't able to, I wasn't able to sell it on Amazon anymore. Uh, but anyway, you understand the kind of product that you sell or a hook for stroller, baby related product because there was a research done, a very detailed market research. I was aware of the demand uh, in that particular uh, area of Amazon in that case, but can be Shopify, can be uh, other different uh, platform. I was aware of the uh, competition, I was aware of the cost of the product, uh, and I was aware of the overall uh, situation when I was before like putting the money in, uh, uh, in the product. Uh, another big uh, problem is uh, by doing this kind of research, you understand about the, uh, the niche you're going to be sell in. So if you're passionate about, let's say, fitness, uh, uh, another problem is that you don't have a clue on how the fitness related the store work. Because you can uh, uh, attend the gyms uh, and trainings uh, since the last, uh, in the last 10 years or 20 years and be completely passionate about uh, uh, lifting iron but you have no idea on how how the iron production work the kind of uh, equipment the uh, gym use work how uh, they are manufactured shipped uh, stored uh, 
how they are promoted, what kind of the margin, what kind of margin they have. So you understand, you know nothing about niche in that fashion. And if you don't do a market research, uh, you're stuck in a situation where uh, you don't have demand or you have too much competition. You know nothing about the niche, even if you're passionate about it. That's some weird stuff. Uh, and uh, of course, you're not going to be successful. There are a few cases where your passion match by chance, complete chance, uh, a suitable situation for business. So that's the, um, uh, the situation that uh, you are going to face uh, most of the time selling, uh, selling your passion. Last thing before closing the video, uh, subscribe to the channel because I need to be famous, so push me up in the ranking. Uh, last topic I want to share about this is uh, you cannot pretend to work hard on something and like it. That's a fundamental belief I have. And it means like if you are passionate about tennis, for example, or if you are passionate about soccer or football, you can be passionate when you play two hours a week, when you play seven hours a week with your friends and so on and so forth. That doesn't mean that you're gonna be passionate and you're gonna enjoy every step of building a business uh, around that. So you understand that if you have to work 14 hours a day and uh, let's be honest, if you want something to be successful, especially if you're starting with a extremely low budget, uh, you have to work a bunch of hours on it. And the problem is you may like uh, football, you may like soccer, but when you have to do it for 20 hours a day or, or like 15 hours a day or 12 hours a day, whatever, eight hours a day, let's suppose you still keep your uh, uh, nine to five regime, you have to deal not only with your passion, not only with tennis and the match, you have to deal with the production, you have to deal with the supplier that doesn't reply, you have to deal with delays, you have to deal with the marketing campaigns that doesn't perform as you expect, you have to deal with a lot of different stuff that are completely identical Rather, if you sell a tennis uh, item or a, a completely different item, a supplement or whatever it is. So the nature of e-commerce is still the same. So you cannot be passionate about uh, uh, something and expect that the work you're going to do is going to be enjoyable. Of course, if you want to realize that a global brand uh, that uh, like is helping people in a particular niche and you always had that passion since you was a child, then maybe it can be a different topic, but it's still an incredibly difficult thing to do. So I don't recommend it uh, if you're just starting out and you are just approaching with $5,000 uh, the e-commerce space. Uh, because uh, it's gonna be boring. It's gonna be extremely boring. It's gonna be time consuming. It's gonna be difficult to manage. There are gonna be a ton of ob obstacles uh, uh, in your way. And uh, if uh, you sell your passion or if you don't sell your passion, uh, it's normal to be completely tired or sick about uh, what you do on uh, a daily uh, schedule, on a daily routine. So that's another reason why I don't suggest to sell your passion. First of all, because most of the time they don't have the right characteristics uh, in terms of market. Uh, the market uh, that at the moment is uh, uh, there. They have a lot of problems with competition and you're not gonna enjoy the process just because you like to have a tennis match uh, uh, on Sundays with your, uh, with your friend. Federico Crespi, Victoria SBS, subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.